On today's show, simple solutions to upgrade your home. We're horsing around and installing flooring that's meant to last. Plus, making sure your outside has lots of curb appeal. From shutters to electronically powered ways to maintain your yard. Organizational tips for the bathroom and a double shot of automotive tips from Pep Boys. renovating an existing one, nothing creates such visual impact and curb appeal as custom shutters. We're here at this Florida home as the final touches are being added on this edition of Designing Spaces. Well, Debbie, how hi. Are how are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you. You as well. Say hi to Bill, our homeowner. Hi, Bill. Hi, nice Debbie. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us here. You're welcome. I have to tell you, though, as soon as I drove up, the first thing I saw the shutters. Yeah, it does set the house it's off. It's beautiful. Good okay. choice. Wow, this really is beautiful. Yeah, it really does look great, doesn't yeah, it? It really transforms the house. It does. It does. I think the color selection is perfect, and the black just really contrasts it and gives yeah. it a great pop. I know there's a lot of choices because I did see your website. Yeah, there, there are a lot of choices, right? Yeah. And this <laughs> is such a great home design. It's an antebellum style, so they actually had louver shutters before they chose these solid panel okay. shutters. Yeah, which a lot of people have. They do, exactly, yeah. and there's no right or wrong with it. Um, but what they wanted is they wanted something a little more substantial, okay. and they wanted something so that they can actually close and get some light protection and also oh, some okay. wind protection. So how did they choose these? Like, what's the process? Well, it all starts with kind of a design inspiration. Usually a homeowner will decide, they'll see a picture in a magazine, yeah. or they'll drive by a home. I want that. I want that, exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, what, what what they'll do is they'll, they'll look at our library. We have like dozens and dozens of different shutter styles and they'll look at that and they'll, they'll narrow it down. Not unlike buying a car or right, right. buying kitchen cabinets okay. and they'll narrow it down and then I'll actually work with our design consultants and we will actually educate our homeowners on, you know, making the right decisions. Right, what's best for their home. Exactly. And yeah. the thing that's really, really important is that it's their home and it has to be an expression of what they want, right? right? So there are no rights or wrongs. The rights or wrongs are measuring at the wrong size, yeah, true. right? But we can prevent against that. I want to see the rest of the house. Can we take a tour? Absolutely. Let's go look. The homeowners obviously chose these shutters because they were unwilling to compromise on quality or design. Plus, the ease of installation made it a win-win for them and their contractor, too. Timberlane's premium wood shutters are available in a variety of traditional wood species that are resistant to moisture and termite damage. Using the proper finishing can protect the natural wood product to provide long-lasting performance. Oh, there he is, painting the shutters. He's painting away. So do you have to paint them yourself, or do they come painted? That's a great question. Normally, we send our shutters fully painted. Okay. In this situation, the homeowner, Bill, wanted to use a special kind of paint, mm -hmm. and in that situation, um, we would basically send the shutters primed only, oh, okay. and they're ready to apply paint, you know, on the job site, right. just like Fernando is well, doing. It's nice to have choices, especially, like, he had a specific color he wanted. No, absolutely. Okay, but this is how normally they would come if you wanted paint. Yeah, so okay. this, this this is primer. It's got primer only on it. Oh, okay. So it's basically in our factory. It's ready for you. It's ready to basically scuff lightly and then apply your paint, whether you're spraying it or brushing it. I like the design that they have on here. Now, is this for all shutters or is this something they chose? Oh, no, this is something they picked out oh, specifically. Okay. Yeah, so this little detail right yeah. here is a trim detail that kind of nicely complements this panel design here. It's beautiful. Yeah, so, and it's and it's not, it doesn't like come off a machine like this, right? This is right. built exactly like a door. So all of these are separate components. These trims are laid in there and secured adequately and you end up with, you know, almost a fine piece of furniture. And another aspect where you can put your personality on it. There's many choices, you know? Absolutely. Like yeah. in this case, they really wanted to tie the details of the panel mm -hmm. into the details of some of their entry doors. I love it. Oftentimes on a house, mm -hmm. um, there's very unique window sizes and styles. Right. And many times there's many windows that the architect or designer puts together. And they become really a challenge to put shutters on. Yeah, yeah. Especially uh, when they're 
second or third floor. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and in this case, Bill decided, the homeowner, he really wanted to put shutters on all the windows. Right. So the way to do it is we actually have two shutters flanking the whole body of windows. Okay. But they're not individual shutters. There's actually three individual shutters on each side. Similar to what we saw on the side with the two, this is just a little bit more. Exactly. This is beautiful and such a great idea. You don't want to leave one window undone. No, nah, it would just look incomplete. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. You know, we almost got the whole tour before the range. Should we go uh, inside? Right. I see it already yeah. on your shirt. <laughs> Well, Rick, it looks beautiful. I know the homeowners are gonna love this. Oh, it looks fantastic. Yeah. I think they're gonna love it as well. Yeah, really. It really is amazing how shutters can give this home just such amazing curb appeal. Absolutely. I saw that the moment I drove up here. It really is just that wow factor. It does look fantastic. Yes. So well, thanks again. Thank you, thank you for being here. I have a flight to catch. I know, we can't keep you here forever. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Bye now. Well, when the job is done, it's easy to see why adding custom shutters gives the house that instant ooh la la. Welcome to Pet Boys. Today, we are solving brake problems. We all know brakes are a vital part of your vehicle. They keep you safe and in control of your car. If your brakes stop working, this can cause some serious problems. Here are some warning signs that your brake system may be failing. Warning lights. Most cars have a dashboard warning that alerts you when there's an issue with your brakes. Check the owner's manual to familiarize yourself with your vehicle's warning lights. Odd sounds. Don't ignore what you hear. Brake grinding can happen when extreme wear to the brake pads or rotors occurs. Temperamental pedal. When a brake pedal is functioning properly, it should feel firm. A soft feeling brake pedal is unsafe. You can always take a break and let Pep Boys do a brake inspection on your car. If it's time to replace them, Pep Boys can install Wagner premium brake parts to ensure your safety. If you want to see more, head to designingspaces.tv. For more information, stop by your local Pep Boys or schedule your next appointment at petboys.com. designer Heidi Petty is redoing this entire home and equestrian center. When we arrived, it was derelict. The house was a tan color. Everything was tan, tan, tan. Does not fit into what I feel that this property should be. So I'm meeting Steve today. I'm gonna walk him through the big house and then I'm gonna take him into the tack room. I'm gonna show him the teen room. Let me show you the inside. Wonderful, yeah. Okay, great. Please. Oh, thank you. Let me tell you a little bit about this farm. Okay. The owner has an idea to build an equestrian center here for kids of all ages. What we've been doing for the past three months is um, painting everything. We've really transformed this place. So everything under the sun? Everything under the sun, including the barn. This house has three bedrooms. Okay. It was important for the owner to make this space kid-friendly. Seeing the house for the first time really gave us an understanding of why she chose the designs that she wanted to go with. Also the color schemes as well. Um, I love what you did with the space. Um, the flooring looks gorgeous, but you know, while we're here, let's go outside, see how the gentlemen are doing. Um, okay. Installing out in the tack room. Great. Hey, Bob. Hey. How's it going? When I saw the brochure for Tarquette, they offered this product where there are four colors in one box, so it, it worked perfectly. Did I make the right choice for a tack room with kids? running in in their boots, mud. All those things. And the sunlight. Absolutely. I mean, this gets a ton of sun. From a technical perspective, this product is next generation as it relates to direct sunlight. It's 100% waterproof. Okay. Superior indent performance, so when those kids come running in, and okay. the most important thing, it's easy to clean okay. because those kids are gonna mess the heck out of it. Heidi decided to use ProGen. What makes our ProGen technology extremely beneficial for that space is that space has significant temperature fluctuations from sunlight coming in from multiple directions. Also, the product is 100% water so when kids come marching in with mud and what have you, product won't uh, bend or buckle from that absorption of water. Oh, wow. Th 
this room is the teen room. Okay. Or let's call it the all kids room. Oh. So there could be up to 20 kids in here yeah. at one time. It's gonna be used when they can't ride and they need a place to hang out. You know, they're gonna be running from the pool, coming here. Um, so did we make the right choice on the material? Absolutely, 100% waterproof. Great bold design choices. So like here you have the, the mix and match, but you can also do a herringbone with this product, but we love the mix and match that you used to kind of accentuate the two different color combinations. The SureSet technology actually has a pre-applied adhesive that you can actually just lay it down straight onto the subfloor, which makes the installation significantly easier as you map out the room. Now that the floors are in, Heidi adds the finishing touches, and it's time to show the girls their newly renovated home away from home. You ready to see it? Yes. All right, let's go. Oh, So did I did I get everything that you guys need? Yes. Saddles? Yes. Tack? Yes. Bench? Yes. Boot storage? Okay. The place for you guys to hang out, the place to go when it rains, the place to go to get away. Go check it out. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. Yeah? You want to hang in here? Yeah. Cool. And the good news is the floor is totally durable. Good thing it's waterproof. For more information, visit tarketna.com slash progen or visit designingspaces.tv. Welcome to Pep Boys. Keeping your engine cool. Keeping your car cool is extremely important. Maintaining your vehicle's cooling system is essential to the lifespan and efficiency of your engine. The engine coolant provides the protection your vehicle needs to maintain its cooling system year round. Over time, coolant becomes acidic, leading to the structural breakdown of your cooling system. Replacing your coolant in the intervals recommended by your vehicle's manufacturer is an essential preventive maintenance measure. Pep Boys can help. Our coolant chemical flush and exchange service safely evacuates the old coolant, cleans your radiator and its components, and replaces it all with new coolant manufactured specifically for your vehicle. Now, how cool is that? If you want to see more, head to designingspaces.tv. For more information, stop by your local Pet Boys or schedule your next appointment at petboys.com. I love to get out here and make sure that our lawn is being kept perfect. Our lawn is green, our lawn is the perfect length. It's my therapy where I want to make sure that our flowers are blooming and everything looks healthy and clean. I like to mow the lawn. You're trying to make your, your lawn look natural and healthy, mm -hmm. yet you still have all of this gas and noise coming from the lawn mower. There have been recent innovations in electrically powered outdoor lawn and garden tools. Lithium ion battery technology has advanced rapidly over the past three years. Now it has the runtime, torque, and power needed to power lawn mowers, leaf blowers, and line trimmers, reducing smell, maintenance, and making the job more enjoyable. To make his point, John brought three lithium ion powered yard tools over to Lori and Eric's house. So here we are to get started here. If you can step on in, I want to check the height of the there. Does that feel comfortable to you? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do now is we have our battery, it's all charged up. It has a handle for carrying. So we're just gonna lift that up, drop this right in here till it clicks. Put the handle down, press the button to make sure it has a full charge. Okay. Now your motor's ready to go. We have a single height adjustment lever here, so you can adjust the height of the cut anywhere you want it to be. Now you're ready to start. So the first thing you're gonna do here is hold this button in until it turns green. Now if you can hold that button in, pull this back. You got this, honey. You can let go of that. Now if you hold this in, 
Here are some key points to maintaining a beautiful lawn. Using a self-propelled lawnmower provides an even and consistent cut time after time. Making sure you have a sharp blade and only cutting the top third of your grass each time will make it grow healthier and thicker. It's important to apply the right fertilizer at the right time of year to encourage strong root growth. Nice! Woo! <laughs> That's awesome! Good job! Why don't you give it a shot? Okay, yeah, why not? One of the advantages of lithium-ion battery power is that if there's an interruption... Can I go get the car to see Katie? Okay, but have the car back by five. Okay, thanks. Have a great time. You can simply stop and then when you need to start back up again, it's a simple push of the button. No pulling ropes to get back going. John, this lawnmower has a lot of power. I didn't expect that. It's 120 volts. It has the power and the runtime of a gas mower and it'll run about 120 minutes on a single charge. Now that it's so much easier to mow the lawn, let's get to the detailing. Next up, the electric line trimmer. All right, well, the next tool I wanted to show you is our line trimmer. This is the perfect tool for keeping the edges around your patio, your sidewalk, your driveway, neat and trim. You don't need a separate tool to take care of that. Very, very simple to operate. We're gonna use the exact same battery that we had in the lawnmower. It just slips inside here, locks in, lock the handle down. You can see the charge here, just like mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Once the battery's in, all your controls are right at your fingertips. So you have one button here that turns on the power. Once you get the power light, then you have your choice of three different speeds. You have a lockout trigger, and you're ready to go. You can feel lots of power in there. Nice. Why don't you give it a try, Eric? Finally, it's time to clear the driveway and sidewalk of leftover clippings and debris. Okay, so now the last tool we're gonna go through is the blower. Uses the same battery we used on the mower and the trimmer. Easily goes right inside and locks down. Just like the others, you can check your battery charge. Mm -hmm. Then here is your power. You turn it on, you'll hear it click on, okay. and you have choices of three speeds. Yeah. So you have low, medium, and high. Okay. Very, very simple to use. At Yard Force, we're continuing to advance lithium ion battery technology to produce more tools to take care of your home in all seasons. This includes snow blowers, hedge trimmers, and lighting. For more information, visit YardForceUSA.com. To see this portion of the show again, go to DesigningSpaces.tv. Hi, I'm Tatiana Knight, professional organizer. What's the most chaotic room in the house? Most people would say it's the kitchen, but I'd say it's the bathroom where the real gridlock happens. Let me show you. We're in the bathroom and what's the problem? A lack of storage space. What's the solution? Using up space that was previously ignored before. So I've gone with my Trinity slat shelving because it looks great. It doesn't take up that much real estate, but it really does the job. Down low, I have a really deep canvas organizer from Trinity, so all my extra toilet paper is right here, ready to go when they need it. Another thing I like to do is to categorize the items. I've taken these canvas baskets from Trinity and I've put a specific category of items into every single one. So as you can see, this is my brush basket and this is my washcloth basket. And another way of categorizing is by members of your family. So this could be for mom, this could be for dad, this could be for Sally. Everybody has their own holders and everybody knows where to put their stuff away when they're done. I am always amazed by the huge pile of products that I find under the sink at my clients' homes. I've solved the problem using Trinity's under sink organizer. First of all, it goes all the way up to the top with two levels, so none of the space is wasted. Also, it's specifically made to go around the plumbing under this sink, so it's not gonna bump or slam into anything when I pull it out. So my tip is to categorize items, throw out anything that you don't need or you're not gonna use, and then keep things in sections so that when you need something, you know exactly where to get it. It's also gonna save me some time and money because I'm gonna reduce all the extra shopping when I'm losing items in the back. The bathroom may be the smallest place in the home, but it's no longer the messiest thanks to Trinity. Happy organizing! For more creative storage ideas, visit trinityii.com.
For more information on anything you've seen on today's show or to learn how you can be part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. Making a space you can call home, living the lifestyle you desire, it's what we're all about. We're Designing Spaces.